Hello, welcome to another Peplink University video. And today I'm gonna to show you how to configure hot failover with Speed Fusion using InControl. So what we're gonna do first is I got my, my 2400, my 2404 SDX, that's gonna be our, my hub router, secondary SDX. And then I've got my routers that I'll have out in the field here. So what I'll do is I'll go to Speed Fusion Configuration. Then I'm gonna create a new profile, Add Profile, Star, Next. So here's my 24.4 router. I'm gonna do D Disaster Recovery and choose the other SDX router. So there's my two routers in DR, and I have both my, um, both my SDXs set up for Disaster Recovery. Then I'm gonna click Next. Then I can select all my routers and my, my network. So I've got my, my Rebel, my Patriot, my Renegade, my Backpack, and my UBR. Click Next. And we're gonna call this Speed Fusion. I don't turn on encryption because I'm just bonding for internet purposes. So I want to be as fast as possible. Uh, and then here I'm going to click show advanced settings. Scroll down to the bottom. And this WAN settings, advanced WAN settings. Click on that. And now I just need to find my Rebel. And so I'll type in Rebel. And there's my Speed Fusion Rebel to 2404 and my Speed Fusion Rebel to the SDX. I'm going to click on both of those. Hit modify WAN. And here, what I want to do with hot failure is I want to say, use my Starlink and then only use the cellular when the Starlink is down. So my Starlink is primary one, my WAN one, then my WAN two and my cellulars are going to be priority two. And, and so this is not my interface priority. This is my speed fusion priority. Um, and then I'm going to scroll down and here's the one that goes to my, uh, my rebel to my uh, 3919 SDX, I'm going to do the same thing. And you have to do this per profile. So there's no like quick and easy way to do this. You have to set your WAN connection settings per router, per profile. So these are the, these are the WAN settings at the Rebel going to the two SDXs. I can hit save. And if I wanted to change my other routers, I could also do that as well. I could, I could change my backpack, for example. And there's my backpack. And I could select the backpack and I could do the same thing if I wanted to. So then I just hit close, make sure the rest of my settings are, are the way I want them. So there's my dynamic weighted bonding is enabled. I like to have TCP ramp up enabled. So there that is. Um, I could turn on it forward error correction, but I don't really need it. Now I do kind of like that we have the adaptive forward error correction to mitigate packet loss. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn that on. So I'm gonna um, have TCP ramp up with adaptive forward error correction. And then I will have my hot failover. And so then I can click next, finish, save changes. And if I go back to the dashboard, I should see the configuration changes get pushed right here. There you go, a few seconds ago. So then I should be able to pull up my, my Rebel router. I can see there's my Starlink is connected and my T-Mobile is connected. And by the way, this could work like if you have fiber and you want a hot failover to a cable modem, and like, say if I had a fiber in WAN 1, a cable modem in WAN 2, and cellulars, I could do hot failover, priority 1, WAN 1, priority 2, the cable modem, and priority 3, the four cellulars. This would literally go fiber modem, fiber first, cable modem second, and then my cellulars third. Or I could do fiber, then cable and cellulars all bonded together. So do you just play with those as you see fit? And you'll see there it's updating the routes. Okay, there you go, they're connected. So I'm gonna go settings, remote web admin. There they are, my connection. So if I just go to status and you can see my WAN is my WAN one, which is my Starlink is active. And then you can see my cellular three, which is the only SIM card I have. This, this router's not being used right now. Um, my cellular three is, is standby. If I reboot that WAN one, this is gonna fail over. So let me click on details here. I'm gonna reboot the Starlink. And you should see it fail over from WAN 1 to Cellular 3. And there you go. You can see WAN 1 is now down and Cellular 3 kicked in. So it just failed right over. Any traffic would seamlessly move over from the Starlink right over to the Cellular. Um, and so you're going to have that set up exactly as you need it to be set up. Anyways, just a quick demonstration of creating Speed Fusion profiles with hot failover uh, using in control. And this is using the latest 8.5 firmware. You saw that adaptive FEC. Uh, and I am using an in-control beta. So adaptive FEC will come out uh, later for you. 
um, if you're running on Earth or Mars. But either way, um, the, the hot failover settings will work just fine. Thank you very much and have a great day.